Hey, this is Epic with the Chosen Prime, and today we'll be taking a look at Kang Toys CT01 or Chiyu01 Ferocious. This is Kang Toys' take on the Predacon team member known as Rampage. So before we take a look at him, we're gonna take a look at his accessories. First off, he does come with the collector's card and there's uh, promo shots on the front and some stats on the back. Of course, he does come with a set of instructions and they are pretty confusing, actually. Um, there's a lot of 90 degree, rotate 90 degrees, 70 degrees, this kind of stuff. And it's pretty redundant. The uh, instructions a lot of times tell you to push down when you should pull. So yeah, it can be pretty confusing, but I managed to make it through with the instructions. So anyways, we're gonna show you how to transform it. So hopefully that'll help you out better than the instructions. Also, he does come with a few weapons. He comes with the gun. The orange here is painted and the silver is also painted. Everything else is plastic. Nice weight to it though. And uh, it can be extended at the barrel to uh, whatever length that you like. The sword is also painted orange and it has the silver uh, detail across there. And this, as you can see, is a smoke translucent plastic. So also pretty, pretty decent weapon. He comes with this uh, fist for Pretty King. So it's fully articulated, as you can see, has hinges across the, well, uh, right past the base at the knuckle. So it has a hinge on each knuckle and then it can spread uh, out. And then it also has two more hinges. So lots of range of articulation on these fingers. The spikes are indeed sharp. So be careful of that. And this piece here is die cast. So a nice little bit of heft on it. The uh, silver bits are all painted and then the orange is also painted with the silver accents there as well. And here is Ferocious. He is uh, a little G1-esque, I guess you could say. So this is their interpretation again of Rampage. You can see that he does have uh, light piping there. The light piping works uh, actually pretty well. So on the back of the head, this whole section here is translucent. So a lot of light comes in through there. The details inside of the head are painted black. The mask is painted orange. And then uh, the inside of his mask where his eyes are, that's also painted orange. Everything else is uh, fully painted. Um, actually, when I first looked at the figure, I thought that it was just a uh, metallic or like a fleck plastic inscriptions here. They don't really say anything. I thought they were Cybertronian at first, but it's just uh, seems to be letters and numbers. Diecast pistons here on the legs. And I do believe that these orange sections here are die cast. There's actually quite a bit of die cast in the figure. Oh, and yeah, underneath the, uh, the lats here, that's die cast. So there's quite a bit of die cast. I think he weighs a little under 600 grams. Everything that you see silver is painted silver as well. But yeah, very nice. His head is on a ball joint, so he can uh, move around freely on that. Uh, looks up actually a pretty good bit. And then he can look down a little bit and side to side, of course. And then he can look left and right. The shoulders are on double hinges and very squeaky hinges. But yeah, there's a double hinge there, so he can move the arm out about 90 degrees. I suppose you can manipulate it and well, not really, but yeah, 90 degrees. So this is also on a ratchet, um, exposed ratchet here. Pretty interesting, but put that back into place and uh, really nicely tolerant, even though that ratchet's on the outside, it is a pretty strong ratchet. So no worries there. The uh, bicep is on a swivel, a very tight swivel, but you can see some of the plastic 
coming off there but yeah it's really tight the uh double or i'm sorry the elbow is on double hinge so he does get quite a deep elbow bend there the hands are uh pretty nicely articulated as well there is a swivel of course and then there is a range of motion here uh, let's see uh, this way so yeah he can put the uh, arm up for you know the stop pose or uh, the stop hand gesture i should say um the fingers are also individually articulated so you see there's ball joints and uh, a single hinge here so yeah very nice the thumb is also on a hinge and two hinges here so one hinge to go in and out and then two hinges to spread the thumb and then also be careful this looks like it swivels here underneath the silver hinge but it actually does not so don't try to rotate that the waist um, can rotate all the way around and it actually is on a uh, joint that lets you get an ab crunch you would have to pull this all the way out and it's actually for combined mode so let's see if we can there we go extend that and um i guess you can manipulate it and bring it halfway down but you will get an ab crunch out of it so very tight joint though let's press it back there we go and you can see there are a bunch of uh, hip skirts that will move out of the way. Um, the back one is just where the tail section is. But the rest of the hip skirts will get out of the way. And you can move the legs forward on a soft ratchet and very squeaky to get you 90 degrees. And back about that far. And then out also on a soft ratchet for 90 degrees and then there is a swivel right underneath that ratchet the uh, knee is on a single hinge but if you take this section drop it down you can get well past 90 degrees on a uh, on a knee bend and for the feet the feet are on a few hinges here as you can see it goes down up and down there on this hinge and then there is a dedicated hinge for an ankle tilt so yeah quite a bit of posability from this guy oh and the uh, toe can articulate move up and down as well as the heel which of course is on a tight joint but yeah lots of articulation here he is next to fans toys sovereign to get ferocious transformed first thing you want to do is on the hands make sure they're uh balled up the fists are balled up and the thumb is on top facing forward and you want to flip this uh yellow part open and the fist will go right inside so yeah flip that open and then you can just tuck it easily back inside and close that back up and then the paw is uh, tabbed in on the back of the arm there just bring that forward and this section is actually on a slider so we'll show you um, you can see here it slides up and down a little bit so slide it up bring the paw forward rotate it and then bring it up so it covers this uh, wheel looking section right there so bring it all the way forward and there you go cover that up the hip skirts on the side just fan those out and uh, i guess while we're at it we can do those but then the tail just unpeg it's pegged in right here i'm um, actually when i unpeg it you'll be able to see it there and then just bring that up and let it rest against his back like that. The side panels on his leg, 
so it pegs in right there and again on this side just unpeg that and bring those out to the side bring this piece out Actually, make it easier so this panel on the inside of the leg also um, tabs in right there so unfold that this panel on the bottom of the leg also can be unfolded and then you can unfurl that and bring this part of the leg out and next what you want to do is this is on two hinges here so um this top hinge here that this red panel is on is actually pretty tight but essentially what you want to do is rotate this part of the leg so it's on the outside and you need to maneuver it around so uh, while avoiding uh, collision with this part. So just rotate this out and move it out of the way. And the way that this was set inside there, you want to flip it around and put it back inside. Um, it sounds confusing, but trust me, the instructions don't help. So. Rotate this around, bring that part of the leg back around. Now that it's on the outside, and this is the part that's, cause it's so tight. And then you're gonna wanna sit it back inside like that. And also make sure that this part stays on the outside too. And again, it's on a really tight hinge, so just be careful when maneuvering it. There. Basically, you should have something like this with the legs now on the outside and this channel clear so you can flip this section around on top of there on both sides. So, yeah, essentially that's what you wanted to do. Get everything out of the way and then go ahead use this double hinge and flip this section around and make sure that's clear. Actually, you can close it up some and be sure to keep this part out of the way, but flip it up. And then while you're doing that, it needs to come back on this hinge, the one that's inside there. They're both ratcheted, so they'll be a lot of resistance, but again, flip that up and bring it forward. There we go. Let's see, move this out of the way. So, rotate this, make sure everything's out of the way. Rotate it that way, and then use that hinge. It's this hinge here. Almost. There we go. And if you want, you can tap them together. So now the legs are all upside down, but move these to the inside and rotate this part of the leg back down. Now you'll see this uh, sort of round cavity here where it was collapsed in. So use these filler pieces and there's one on each side to close that up. Next, fold that in and then bring the leg back here. Rotate this part backwards and it basically just sits on top here. And then the robot mode toe, you just fold it up against the back there. 
actually before you collapse the legs together, um, take the tail section, bring it down, and these uh, notches here will fit in between uh, the vents and this section back here. So just bring it down. And line it up. And it fits in right there on both sides. These parts need to rotate around facing the front and then it's going to tab in over this piece here do it from this angle so you can see really stiff hinge And then use these uh, kneecap pieces and fold those down to cover that part up. Next, you want to lift up on the tiger's head and rock this piece forward. Fan these two pieces out. And then the head is on a hinge here. So just maneuver it back and it'll sit into this cavity here. So you can maneuver it all the way back and then it'll sit like that. But before you close that up, actually you want to open this panel here. And be careful, it is on a hinge that, or well actually it's on a C-clip. So just pry it open. And then it'll come out about that far. And this is the clip I was talking about. So it doesn't need to come all the way up, but just enough to clear this piece here. And it also pegs in here, but what we're gonna do is move it to it pegs down into that uh, port there. So open that and pull out on these orange pieces at the shoulder. And then you wanna drop the whole thing down. So just press down, press down, bring it down, and then use that hinge to drop this down and clip it back in. So now the whole chest section should be sitting lower than what it originally was. So bring this back into place and then you'll untab this section a little trickier than it looks but you want to maneuver this piece where it was sitting originally like that you want to bring it forward and then clip it back in to there so it sits uh, even and the best way I found to do it is to hold this into place and then just press forward on it and then you can bring the head back actually oops I messed up because this needs to go in between there so unpeg it and clip that in now you can bring it back there you go just straighten out these arms and collapse them and then tab in the uh, side skirts and you'll see where they go there so tab in on that side and tab in on this side and that is it oh and collapse if you use that uh, joint Okay, so mistake on my part, this arm is actually supposed to go the other way around. So we're just going to rotate it like this. 
and then bring it forward. So the, uh, I guess the pipes or whatever you want to call that, it's supposed to be on the back of the arm. So bring this forward and then pull it back and then it sits a lot better. Same thing on this side. Rotate that around and bring that forward, rotate the paw and now it's sitting the right way. Also, you can uh, bring out the ears. Here he is in his big cat alt mode. And the articulation is really nice, so he can pull off a convincing predatory stance. All right, so to get Ferocious ready for combine mode, um, first thing I suggest is to pull up on the torso. And it's, again, really tight, but... And separate it like that. And then we'll unpeg the chest, bring it forward just enough to clear. And then you want to raise the side pieces back up. So we'll bring those all the way back up on both sides. Bring it back up on that hinge and clip it in back how it was in robot mode. There. So now we'll undo the uh, tiger's head and you can move these out of the way and you'll drop it down. It's on two hinges here and then another hinge here and it'll just fit into this cavity. This part, uh, this part will fit over that. So just bring that down and it'll sit like that. And then you can clip these two back together. And actually you can unclip this piece too. And it's on a ball joint and a hinge. Just rotate it around and it'll just sit up against the back of the neck like that. Next, we'll rotate the arms backwards on both sides. And you want to fold this forward like this. The instructions show a certain way that they want you to twist and turn. Um, like I was saying earlier, it's just a bunch of 90 degree this and that. But essentially, that's all you're doing It's just turning it around and folding it back on itself like that. Next thing is to separate the legs again. Make sure to get the red pieces uh, clear so we can bring the leg back out. So, all right. And uh, we're gonna reverse what we did before and put the legs back on the inside. With the leg extended, you'll see this peg in here and I've already pulled it out partially, but you wanna extend that and then open up this panel again. And also these uh, little filler pieces, open those and bring those back. So you have that little half circle again. And then you want to collapse the leg back down and then close this on top of that peg and make sure it stays out. And then rotate the foot all the way around. And you can bring the uh, robot toe up on the ball joint and hinge and plug it, uh, peg it in right here. 
and then the uh, tiger toes paws you can fold those like that essentially what you're going to want to do is rotate this whole section back around so the uh, leg is facing inwards so let's bring it out and it's um on this hinge that can be brought up about 90 degrees and you'll rotate the whole section 180 to the inside so let's do that all right now close this up so you should have a gap here in the middle like a rectangle rectangular gap use this hinge bring the leg down and then you can close this part off with this uh, red piece here and this is going to close up and clip onto that so before you do that though you want to use this peg that i mentioned earlier and plug it in right there um, on the front of the knee so you'll also have to use this hinge and close this up a bit not all the way but enough to where it uh, lines up the easiest way to know if it's lined up if you can only see two of these notches so we'll close it up a little bit more so that should be about right and it should drop right down in that peg that port, all right, and snap that together. With the tail extended, you want to collapse it on this hinge so that this peg goes into that port. Flip this over, and you want to untab this piece here. And these tabs are gonna peg in here and there. Next, you want to undo these pieces and bring that all the way back. And then the tail comes forward. This notch goes in over this area right here. Then make sure these are tabbed in. And then bring this down. Actually, these go underneath here. But if you want, they can go on the outside. Just make sure it's closed all the way up. Just rotate this section so the elbow joint is facing the outside and then the forearm is facing like this with the tail section forward and then you can bring in the fist and it'll just slide over here and here we have the right arm of what will be King Toya's Predator King it's very large size arm so uh, looking forward to the full combined mode one more comparison with sovereign so that is king toys ferocious and a very nicely done figure it's fully painted and has great articulation and build quality so it's available for you to pick up at the chosen prime so please go to the chosen if you are interested again this is epic with the chosen prime have a great day